I got you on Saturday. I'm gonna get you six. I'm about to do my thing. Watch me. Take a picture, flip, flip. You gotta come to a game this Saturday, man. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. <laughs> you gotta keep your head on swivel. I told you I was gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Sun Devils 101. I'm Sierra Lambrecht. And I'm Laura Yanez. Now this episode is all about long-standing traditions here at ASU. Right now we're standing on top of the University Bridge, which has the perfect view of A Mountain. The A is actually a whopping 60 feet tall and it was constructed in 1938. But ASU has totally evolved since then. And from head to toe, this latest transformation was no exception. Unless you've been living under a rock lately, I know you've seen and heard all about ASU's new jerseys. Now whether you love them or hate them, one word has often been used by the ASU community to describe our new threads. They have swag. swag. Definitely swag on. Yeah, I got swag. <laughs> swag. For real now. At ASU, swag is sexy. I think all the players will look really sexy in their new uniforms. Yes. Are you going to get your boyfriend's uh, jerseys? He already has one. No boyfriend. Yeah, I'm single. Hello. <laughs> Taylor. Anyways, with the help of Nike, ASU was able to create new gear for all 21 sports. Maroon and gold stay true to ASU's color theme, but prepare yourselves for a blackout. Everything looks good in black. Something's missing. ASU! ASU! Oh yeah. Sparky. He's our mascot. He's a, he's a true champion, so uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of sad to see him go, but this new pitchfork's uh, really exciting. No, I'm not going to miss Sparky. He's still here. I mean, he's right here. Sparky's not going away. I mean, he's still our mascot, but our logo is going to be the pitchfork. Opponents better be ready to get forked because Sparky never duels without one. Having more swag is always a good look, but I wonder if these unis are going to produce more W's on the field. Not necessarily. I'm already, we're already motivated. Um, it just makes us look better, so we feel better. I think, I think they have it in them. They, it's, I, know, I never thought it was a question of talent. It's just them, them doing it. We all know that a uniform hasn't made a basket or scored a touchdown yet, but I, I do think it's good that our student athletes feel good about the way they look. They feel good about the look. Winning is what ASU was all about, as well as... Swag! So we all know who schools at Swag. Sparky. But he's one mysterious dude. We caught up with his best friend, the only person on earth Sparky will talk to. But for security reasons, we can't reveal his identity. But he gave us some in-depth looks at what it's like to be the big man on campus. Sparky, he's not really, he's a, he's a quiet guy, obviously. Uh, but he, he's dedicated to his job. I like to say Sparky by day, Sparky by night. You know, Sparky by day, he's hitting the books, he's training. Sparky at night, he's gonna have some fun. Sparky loves all the ladies, so like he tells me all the time, he's like, yeah, you know, man, like I really like to have a girlfriend, you know, settle down in a nice city of Tempe and everything, but uh, he likes to stay single. Sparky's favorite moment has to be when he's in front of the whole student section, in front of a whole home crowd. He's ready to get up there and he can't wait uh, to put that, you know, stop on that bus. When it comes to that football game, whether it's in God awful Tucson or here in Tempe, uh, Sparky will always dominate Wilbur. To be honest, uh, Wilbur doesn't have the athletic ability to even step in the ring. You can be a Sun Devil, you can be a Sparky, but you can't be the Sparky. Think you've got what it takes to be the hottest mascot? Find out if your own Sun Devils 101 crew can take the heat. But first, when we come back, for 23 years he coached the Devils. See how the spirit of his legacy lives on, on the field and in the stands. We're back in here at Old Main, a landmark on the Tempe campus landscape. It was built before Arizona was even granted statehood and was actually the first building in Tempe to be wired with electricity. It's as much a part of ASU history as this unforgettable Sun Devil coach. Tyler's pitch. Brown into shortstop. Anderson digs it up and throws him out. So SC is done in the second. Jim Brock loved three things in life playing baseball, coaching baseball, and watching baseball. And he did all of them with his wife, Pat. Jim and I actually met in high school, North Phoenix High School, in fact. Um, Jim graduated 
and went to Phoenix College, and it was at that time we began dating. And uh, so he was in my life for 40 years. And the majority of those years were spent together on the field, the family business, Pat calls it. My children learned that that's the way our life was. We went to the ballpark at night. <laughs> and Pat was as much a part of the team as Jim was. Tim Esme, now head coach of ASU baseball, played for Jim Brock in the 80s, but answered to Pat, too. Coach was, you know, the father figure and, and, and Mrs. Brock was our mother when we were here. She took care of all of our, she took care of our travel, she took care of our academics, she made sure we were going to school. Uh, she even got to the point where if she felt we needed haircuts, she let us know. Being the adopted mother wasn't Pat's only position. I was like a wonderful administrative assistant because sometimes when I would get up in the morning and I would be trying to get ready to go to school, he would say to me, can you type something for me before you leave? She also kept a scorebook. I felt obligated to do it because probably 90% of the time when we would get home that night, Jim would say to me, be sure and leave your scorebook out because he would wake up early and go in and recap the game. It's been 17 years since her husband died of colon cancer, but Pat still comes out to support her team and fill in her scorebook, even though Jim doesn't look at it anymore. She's ASU baseball, and, and I'm really excited. You know, now um, I, I see her every once in a while when we're playing, and I see her coming in, and it means something. It means something to me that she's still actively involved and, and feels, and I want her to feel like she was just a big a part of it you know, off the field as coach was on the field here. His career in baseball, that was number one with him. And I don't mind being number two. I really wouldn't change a thing. I'm proud to be a Sun Devil. I'm proud to have been married to Jim Brock for 38 years. So Mallory, Pat kept scrapbooks of all of Jim's accomplishments? Yeah, she has everything from his 13 World College Series appearances, and she has them because one day she wants to let her grandchildren know how much she meant to ASU baseball. What a touching story. Thanks so much for bringing that to us. Now let's kick it over to Laura, who's also on the Tempe campus. Thanks, Sierra. Now let's continue with another tradition here at ASU, Sun Devils coaching Sun Devils. My friends that know me say that I bleed maroon and gold. Missy Farquay has been a proud Sun Devil her entire life. I've been going to Sun Devil Stadium since I was probably seven or eight years old. She golfed for Arizona State from 1985 to 1990 and has coached at her alma mater for nine years. On the golf course, Farquay is calm and collected. She swings with ease, takes time to line up, aims for that perfect shot. She knows the values of patience and persistence, both on and off the course. Farke capped off her career at ASU with an NCAA championship in 1990. The year before, her sister Heather Farr, another Sun Devil and All-American, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Heather lost her fight with cancer, passing away in 1993. Four years later, Missy Farke began her own battle with breast cancer. She believes that her sister's struggle inspired her to keep fighting. People say to me all the time, I don't, how did you do it? How did you get through it? And I always say, I, I just, I, I sort of channel my sister and her energy and, and how she did it. That energy keeps a smile on Missy's face, <laughs> even after two bouts with breast cancer. And Missy's positive attitude is rubbing off on her team. She's such a great representative of what a Sun Devil is, someone with great integrity and determination and um, all those words that you would want to use to a young player to inspire them, that, that's what Missy is. With her fight with breast cancer, I've kind of looked at that with my golf and, you know, if you can fight through that in life, then you can fight through tough times in your round. Farkey's courage and dedication has helped lead ASU to an NCAA championship in 2009, making Missy one of the few Sun Devils to win a championship both as a coach and as a player. When people ask me in general, why do I, why do I coach? I coach because these young ladies out here practicing. Because to me, it's not just about golf. If that's part of my purpose is to, is to help somebody, inspire somebody that they can get, they can get through it. They can get through something. Then, then that's, that's a really great thing for me to take away from, from my life journeys. So Lauren, how often do we see Sun Devil athletes coming back to teach the game they love? Actually, there's quite a few back at ASU coaching. Missy Farke is just one of them, and that's what really makes the Sun Devil for life. Coming up, a wedding that would even make the Royals jealous. Two ASU athletes found their love for the game and each other.